A common challenge when buying tires is to understanding the different types of tires and which one will work best for you. The easiest way to group tires is to start with your vehicle type. You can determine which type is best for you based on your driving needs. How to choose the right tires for your vehicle. You probably won't buy the first car you see, so why buy the first set of tires you see? When it's time to buy new tires, it can be beneficial to stay fit. There are three steps to choosing the right tire at the right price. Follow along as we walk you through how to choose the best tires for your vehicle, lifestyle, and budget. Step 1. Find your tire size. Tires come in different sizes and it's not as simple as small, medium, and large. Your tire size is a number from 13 to 22. That number tells you the wheel diameter in inches. There are a few different ways you can find out your tire size. Check the informational placard printed on your driver's side door. There, you will find the required wheel diameter for your specific vehicle. Or, check your current set of tires, you should see a block of numbers and letters on the sidewall of one of your tires, the last number in that code is your tire size. Step 2. Compare tire types and choose the one which is best for you. There are many types of tires available in the market. This is the part of tire shopping that can overwhelm some buyers. Don't let it, check out this quick rundown of the different types available for most cars, trucks, minivans, crossovers and SUVs. As the name suggests, a tube type tire consists of a tube that is placed between the tire and the wheel rim. The tube inside the tire is filled with air and inflated to allow the tires to support the weight of the vehicle and maintain the shape of the tire. Tube type tires were used for many years by all types of vehicles with pneumatic tires before tubeless tires were created. A tubeless tire was preferred over tube type tires because it weighs less and has less unsprung ways. Handling features are also better with tubeless tires. When a tube type tire loses its inflation, it has a tendency to come off the rim, creating instability. Tubeless tires also have the advantage of repairing punctures without removing the tire from the rim, and this means that individuals can repair the tire themselves if the car has a puncture repair kit. High-profile tires have a smaller rim size, whereas low-profile tires have larger rim size. Well, for the same specified diameter of a car, high-profile tires with less rim size give really better ride comfort, lower cost, and don't mess up the odometer readings too much. And low-profile tires with higher rim sizes are the current trend. I know they look really dashing, but they have low ride comfort and are prone to damage on our roads and are an expensive comparison. The advantage of one is the disadvantage of the other. Overall, if you are not into track racing and don't care about looks, you should go for high-profile tires. Apart from this, if there are any other technical pros and cons, please share your knowledge with us. As the name implies, all-season tires are designed to provide a smooth, quiet ride, teamed with optimal traction, irrespective of the seasons or whether a road is wet or dry. All-season tires have a tread pattern and rubber compound that make them suitable for use in wet conditions and a wide range of hot and cold temperatures. The tires are designed to withstand light snow, which means drivers can use them year-round in most temperatures. The rubber used in all-season tires is designed to stay flexible and pliable, even in temperatures hovering around the freezing mark. Since all-season tires offer a mix of summer and winter performance, they are an excellent choice for drivers in moderate climates and driving conditions. People who live in areas with longer winters often turn to all-season tires for three out of four seasons and switch to a set made for snow in the winter. The best all-season tires are manufactured by Michelin, Goodyear, and Hankook. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of all-season tires. These tires are good for mild weather throughout the year. You will enjoy a smooth, quiet ride and great fuel efficiency in most climates. All-season tires don't perform as well as winter tires, 
due in extreme weather, like sub-zero temperatures or snowstorms. Touring tires, also known as Grand Touring Tires, are designed to deliver a comfortable ride and reliable all-season traction with more responsive handling. They are a reliable option if you drive a lot. Touring tires are known to have a relatively wide tread, which allows them to make more superficial contact with the road. They provide superior wet or dry traction, along with longer lasting life, due to their all-season rating. Many consumers find these tires to be perfect for long-distance travel, due to their smooth driving and quiet ride. Touring tires are ideal for sedans, minivans, SUVs, and other passenger vehicles. The Michelin, Continental, and Bridgestone brands made the best touring tires. Talking about pros, consider touring tires your top shelf premium tire. These tires are for the driver who wants a silky smooth, silent driving experience. They handle like a dream and offer superior reliability and long life. Although, touring tires can handle everyday wet and dry conditions, they aren't cut out for extreme weather. Performance tires are designed to give drivers better handling and traction on paved roads in both wet and dry conditions. Performance tires feature unique tread patterns, construction and rubber compounds that enhance the overall driving experience. These tires can improve your car's racetrack-inspired features such as cornering ability and shorter stopping distance. However, you may find that you will make small compromises in gas mileage, road noise, and tire lifetime in exchange for better performance. The increasingly popular performance tires provide superior handling response to owners of sports cars, sports coupes, exotic cars, and racing-style cars. But if you want performance features and all-season capabilities, the Firestone Firehawk AS offers the best of both worlds. If you have a need for speed and want to take advantage of your engine's horsepower, look no further than performance tires. These tires are perfect for drivers who prioritize speed and performance and are often used on sports cars. Performance tires typically don't last as long as other tires, but what they lack in their tread ratings, they make up for in grip and high performance. Summer tires are designed for performance in wet and dry conditions, and are adapted for hot climates or throughout the year in areas that do not get true winter. These tires provide grip and responsive handling, so they are not designed for all-season traction, as they are ideal for performance vehicles in warmer climates. Summer tires outperform all-season tires when it comes to traction, both wet and dry. Despite their name, summer tires can handle any warm season. They're engineered for superior traction on damp surfaces, so spring and summer showers are no problem. These aren't your safest bed in winter, these tires are made of rubber that hardens in lower temperatures, so swap them out as soon as the temperature drops. Highway tires have an all-season tread pattern and are designed to handle the heavy loads of a truck or SUV. They are engineered to be very comfortable on pavement. Most highway tires have durable compounds and tread patterns that resist uneven wear to deliver longer tread life. They typically feature sips to increase all-season traction. They are usually come with long mileage warranties and are designed for a smooth, quiet ride with predictable handling on cars, trucks, and SUVs. Highway tires minimize noise and dissipate heat, which in turn reduces tread wear for longer tire life. Most models are equipped with small siping grooves that channel water away quickly and enhance traction on wet roads. Highway tires are designed to provide a smooth and quiet ride while maximizing fuel economy. While many highway models can handle wet roads and light snow, they are not designed with the tread patterns to handle heavy snow. Due to the less aggressive tread patterns, highway tires may not provide optimal traction on dirt, gravel, sand, and mud. All terrain tires, or AT tires, are designed for a high level of traction on all types of roads and surfaces. 
Generally these tires have a more aggressive tread pattern than highway tires. They have larger tread blocks and more voids, providing traction in off-road driving conditions. Models that fall under this type of tire have a combination of open treads designed for both off-roading and handling on paved roads. The most important thing to keep in mind when considering all-terrain tires is that they are intended for multiple purposes. So, if you only drive on paved roads and highways, it is not a good option. All-terrain tires can handle surfaces such as gravel, dirt, rocks, and snow that many other tires do not. The tread design on all-terrain tires provides a noisier drive than regular all-season tires. Sport Tires these are used on high-performance cars and are designed for excellent handling, performance, and created with fuel economy. These tires have wider contact patch area and provide excellent grip on dry roads and stiffer sidewalls provide better lateral and cornering forces that are designed for high speeds. They are typically used with bigger rims and has low profiles. The benchmark for sport tires is that they give the vehicle a competitive edge when it comes to areas like cornering, braking, handling, etc. The wide contact patch area and hard sidewalls provide superior lateral and cornering forces that are designed for high speeds. Sport tires are not meant to be used on rough roads. Hitting a pothole can cut the rim through the sidewall or damage the wheel. These tires are designed with softer compounds for better grip and traction, which also means they are more susceptible to wear. Winter tires are specially designed to handle cold weather conditions, ranging from heavy snowfall to black snow. These tires can be characterized by a flexible tread rubber that remains soft in low temperatures, providing better grip on slippery roads. The tread depth and unique pattern on winter tires are designed to help seal out snow and water for better traction. Another key feature of winter tires is the cut edges for extra traction on icy roads. For best results, winter tires should only be used in areas where temperatures regularly drops below freezing. If you live in a place with below zero temperatures, snow and ice, look for winter tires. Their dark colors give you traction through whatever mud, snow, and ice you have to conquer. Winter tires need to be swapped for summer or all-season tires once the temperature is the same. And now for the step 3, determine your tire budget. Once you know the tire size and type you need, consider your budget for purchasing the tire. Like everything, there is a wide range of prices, so what is a reasonable amount to spend? It depends on the driver and the car. Our best advice is to remember that tires are an investment and a priceless one at that. Your tires are the only part of your car that comes into contact with the road. Without quality tires, your car cannot run safely or smoothly. So that's it, thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos like this.